On your corner, in your corner. This is WJZ News at 630. Amtrak service suspended for several hours today because of debris falling from a train bridge, hitting a vehicle and injuring a woman in East Baltimore. Welcome to the news at 630. I'm Casey Baylor. Train service is now back up and running tonight. WJZ is live. Tara Lynch is at Baltimore Penn Station with the details of the incident and reaction from travelers. Tara. This all happened just before 1130 this morning on North Point Road and Quad Avenue in East Baltimore. The city's fire department says one car was struck by debris that fell from the bottom of a bridge. The driver suffered minor injuries. The bridge is owned and operated by Amtrak and after inspection, service resumed around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Travelers at Baltimore Penn Station said that they were stuck on trains in Philadelphia waiting for the scene to clear. When this was considered a bridge collapse, I just have been trying to de-escalate that language because this is debris that fell from the underside of a bridge, unfortunately, onto a car. You know, at first we were a little concerned because they weren't really giving us information and we had two small kids and they were sitting with three other kids, so it was a little worrisome. A few people did exit the train, so we were trying to figure out what was happening. But, you know, after an hour, we got going again, so it wasn't very fun, but it could have been a lot worse. Amtrak delays between Wilmington and the Baltimore Amtrak stations, of course, here at Penn Station and down at BWI Thurgood Marshall. Uh, according to the Maryland Department of Transportation, Mark trains were not impacted because of this debris that fell. Uh, the Baltimore City Department of Transportation says that the westbound lane of North Point Road will be closed until tomorrow at noon. The eastbound lane will be split so that traffic can continue on North Point Road. And again, Amtrak service now resumed tonight. For now, reporting live at Baltimore Penn Station, Tara Lynch, WJZ. Tara, thank you. Let's take.